Guess it probably helps if I uh, unmute myself, huh? So, let's play a little game here. I got this on my on my Steam like a couple years ago. I never really played through it. I, I solved the first few problems, but then I just kind of I said this is fun, but you know I could probably just be programming and making useful things instead of just programming in a game. So I I kind of gave it up. But I'm looking at it again, and I'm like, yes, I might want to try this out again. So I figure I'll give it give it a try on stream. What do you guys say? Also, can you guys hear me? That's a good question. Good, good, good. Okay, let's get uh, let's get started here. So, I'm not going to explain everything. I I sort of know I sort of remember part of how you do this, but uh, I mean, this is a game. I'm just gonna play the game, and uh, we'll see. We'll see where we go. Okay, so I, I guess clicking here doesn't help me. I, I gotta create a new program. Yeah, there you go. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, it gives you gives you inputs. In x out x in a out a. Okay, yeah. So you got inputs, and then you've got expected outputs, and you just have to write little assembly programs that do that. But the, the cool thing about this game is that it's not on like a single processor, it's a whole bunch of cores that are hooked up to each other. So it's a, it's a fun little puzzle. It's a puzzle, but it's also assembly programming. It's very cool. And of course this is going to be easy, right? Because all you got to do is just get the data from here to here. So all we need to do is move up left you've got ports here up down left right so we can just move right down do we need commas I guess we can do it without commas too move up down move up right and move right down all right now if we run this hopefully it works no up left idle have I fucked it up already? Move up left. What am I missing? Move right down. 49. Move. Uh, okay, well, yeah. That's that's kind of dumb, isn't it? Okay, well. First fail. That was, that was fast. Didn't think I'd fail on this one. Move left down. Let's try that. Ah, here we go. Okay. And... Still going, huh? Beautiful. All right. And yeah, at the end, this this is the kind of thing you'll see in these Zactronics games, although this is the only one I've ever played. I've seen them on stream before. You get these different um, these different metrics of how well you've done, and you can see how well you've done. Like You can see the distribution of performance of all the people who have played this game. So, of course, for this one here, this solution is so simple. There's only really one solution, so everyone just kind of gets the same result. But later on you're going to see a distribution here and we can see how well we've done. I'm not going to try to do, I'm not going to try to min-max each of these uh, different metrics. I just want to solve the problems today. But uh, it's, a, it's a fun little challenge. So, return to the segment list. Let's try the next one. Signal amplifier. Read a value from in.a, double the value, write value to out.a. So in out okay this is you know it's the first program it's gonna be very simple so we can move up into our accumulator you got one you got two registers accumulator and backup so we can move into accumulator and then we can add accumulator to accumulator and then we can move accumulator down and then we can move up down move up right move no. Move left down. Eh, no, no, no S I M D, unfortunately. The instruction said. I'll show, I'll show you guys here quick. I'll probably have to refer to this because I'm a little I'm a little rusty. But let me see here. Yeah, so you've got like a uh, the game comes with a PDF and it's it's like an 80s style computer manual, reference manual. 
So you can see the instructions set here. These are all the, eh, no, these are like the, uh, the things that you can read to and write from. So your ports, accumulator, backup, any last. And then here is your instruction set. You've got like one, well, labels, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13 instructions. So yeah, it's, pre it's pretty goddamn simple. You're not gonna find any SIMD in this motherfucker. You, you smarmy bastard. Okay, so I guess I gotta change it back to the game, right? So if you run this, obviously it's gonna work, right? Thanks, AP. I agree. This is actually a kind of cool game. It gets, I think it gets more interesting later on. Uh, I've only done like maybe like the first five. Oh, yay. We, we min maxed it. I, I still don't see how you can. I guess I shouldn't talk shit because I'm probably going to get some that are that are worse than the median later on. So let's just continue. Let's not talk shit and let's just continue on. Turn to segment list. Okay. So what have we got here? Differential converter. Signal comparator, signal multi multiplexer. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what any of these mean. Read values. Okay. They don't. They don't tell you. They don't explain what you're supposed to do. Maybe. I thought they give you more explanation. But they just. They just give you the expected, and I guess you got to infer what you're supposed to do here. But I mean, it's in the name, right? Differential converter, difference, subtraction, right? If we subtract 93 from 44, maybe we get negative 40. That doesn't seem right, does it? Let me think here. Oh, okay, no, it does explain. I'm just not reading. I'm just failing to read. In dot A minus in dot B into out dot P. So we just got to subtract. All right. So we're going to be reading in these, and we've got to subtract one of them and then we got to do the uh the the swap we got to swap them up so a minus b b minus a or whatever now i know that this instruction set includes a negate instruction so we could probably get away with just one subtracting once and then doing the negate in the other one which might be easier but uh, uh a minus b that's tricky. Well, let's just see. Let's just let's just type in code and see what happens. So move up into the accumulator. Move up left. Then then we wanna I don't know. Subtract, right? So this will give us A minus B, right? That'll be in our accumulator. Then we can move AC down, move up down. This probably isn't gonna be optimal. I'm just going to say that right now, but it's going to be very easy for me to code, and I kind of like that. So we're going to move up into the accumulator, because we have to we have to split it into both directions. And then we're going to move AC down, move AC right. And then move left down. All right, so... I, I, I see no way that this can go wrong. Wow, fuck. Oh yeah, okay, no, no, never mind, never mind. I <laughs> said, never mind. <laughs> we missed a part. We missed one little, we missed one little piece here. Uh, okay, so we're gonna move. Left. Ack. Neg. Move. Ack down, right? Because B minus A is just the, the negation of A minus B, right? This is known. So, let's try it again. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, so I think we've, uh, we've done it. And it, you know, it might not be optimal, but it's gonna, it's gonna get the job done, right?
beautiful. Actually, it was pretty close to optimal, except, I mean, we could do a different program with a lower instruction count to, to maximize this one here. But, uh, I mean, we're not going to do that, obviously. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right. Return to the segment list. Okay, so that was good. Yeah, it's just a game, Luke. It's a game that I'm playing on stream. I only stream games. So, what's next? Signal comparator. Seems easy, right? Read value in... Read a value from in. Write one to out. Write one to out. Ah, okay. So we gotta write to one into a particular port. Oh yeah, I, well, there was... Logistim is definitely a game for me. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm, it's not actually, it doesn't actually do anything. It doesn't solve any problems in real life. So it's pretty much, it's just a game. But, uh, write one. Yeah, okay. When A isn't, when A1 is not written to output, write A0 instead. Brain explode that gif. Let me see. Oh, when it won. Okay, I'm, I'm thinking this is like a label or something, but it's obviously just the, it's just the, yeah. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, I forget the word for it. When a one is not written to an output, write a zero instead. So we have to write something. Hey, Bane, what's up? And we're either going to be writing a one or a zero. So let me see here. This can't be that hard, right? Uh, we just move up, down, move, up, down, we got to do that, move, up, right, okay, now here we got to do the comparison, so G, what is G, what is our G boy, N is greater than zero, so we have to subtract, or no, we don't, let me see here, we move, Right, ack. Do our work. But we'll also forward the value immediately so that the next one can start working immediately. So we'll move ack right. All right. And now we've got to actually do our job. Do your job. So what is what is your job? We need to, we need to look at the manual here. Because I don't remember all the instructions. Especially the branching ones. So we have... We have jizz jizz equal to zero we have jiniz we have jigiz i think we want a jigiz here jump if greater than zero yeah okay no what's the inverse of greater than zero because i want to skip i want to skip a step if if it's greater than zero so no, that doesn't work. We, we can't do it just by skipping. We have to do some other stuff. So. Let's just, let's just type some code. Jump of greater than zero to greater than zero. I don't know. Okay. Undefined label. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. Wait a second. You're getting ahead of yourself here. So we're going to jump if it's greater than zero. So if it's not greater than zero, then we want to move zero down. Yeah, sounds good, right? Yeah. So this might not be optimal. It's probably like a better way of setting up our branching, but it seems fine. It's fine. Uh, green zero. There we go. Okay, so this is the kind of thing that we want to do. Now, for the next one, I mean, can I copy and paste? Because I feel like I want... Yeah, I can copy and paste, dude. Okay. 
So now we can get into the good copy pasta bugs. Those are our favorite. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be the same. This is going to be the same. We just want to change this one. So now this one should be this one. Okay, now we can jizz. Uh, I guess we got a easy. And chili. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> okay, yeah. You guys are going to have to probably remind me of this a number of times. Because this, this sort of thing, paying attention to multiple things at the same time, it's not my thing. You know, I'm very good at focusing on one thing. Got a very good, a very strong focusing ability. Very bad ability to uh, remember multiple things. Just, just ask my wife. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so we got greater than zero, equal to zero, less than zero. So we want to we want to jaliz, we want to jaliz all over this motherfucker. All right. So this is gonna work, right? Tell me. Okay, what? Well, that, that didn't work. Uh, wait. Move right accumulator. Right, right, right. No? Move. Okay, well. So, two things that I'm not good at. One is remembering to do things. The other thing is, can't tell left from right, okay? Nobody's perfect. <laughs> You know, we all have our strengths and weaknesses. Uh, good. All right, let's try this again. <laughs> okay, well, we got further this time. Uh, where we stop now? We got we got stuff in the pipeline moving here. We got stuff in the pipeline. We want to move accumulator right. Oh yeah. Well, obviously, we can't move accumulator right with this one. Because there's no thing to write. You, one thing you have to know about these um, these port move instructions is that they're blocking. So if you try to move right, but the thing to your right isn't moving left, isn't taking something in, you have to wait until the thing reads that value, and then you can move. So you block. It's synchronization between all these cores. Uh, so... You know, I told you that there was going to be copy pasta bugs, and I hope you were not disappointed. Run. Okay. <laughs> Do it. Do it. All right, I think we. I think we've we've won the day. You know what, Tribane? What did I say about me being able to do multiple things at once? Okay? <laughs> Pay attention, okay? We're gonna need to, you need to work with me here. <laughs> I can't read your chat while I'm programming. <laughs> anyway, we did, uh, we, all, we optimized it. <laughs> Sweet. Let us continue. Someone asked what the what the point of the, this game is, the point of the game is to to do the output, to make the input, to make the output match what the expected output is. That's what it is. It's basically like the second, the second step, the second phase of test-driven development, the fun part. The tests are already there, you just have to make the code satisfy the test. <clears throat> All right. Read values from in A in B, read A value from in dot S. Read A value. What? Read values? Read A value. <laughs> Whatever. Write in dot A when okay. So this one is gonna be our controller. And these two are gonna be our data. And then depending on what's in the controller. We're either going to output this one or this one, which is pretty much exactly what a multiplexer does now that I think about it. This is basically like factorial with none of the fancy graphics. Not really. 
But I mean, there are definitely there are definitely some parallels that you can draw. I believe. Don't knock this game, by the way. This is made in Unity. This is some high quality graphics, high quality technology behind the under the hood. I have no idea why this game needed to be made in Unity. It also doesn't have an adjustable, um, what do you call it, resolution, which is annoying for me. So now the resolution, the output doesn't match my output for my stream. So I don't know. Probably look. It probably looks fine, but it still annoys me nonetheless. I like it when my things match. Anyways, so what was the thing? What was the question again? Right. Oh, okay, so we if it's negative one, if it's positive one, if it's zero, you have to add them together. That's interesting. That's an interesting thing. Tribane, you could you could make this game in just a normal console window. You don't even need my framework. <laughs> That's the thing that because it's all just like text, right? These these borders are they these text. Uh, these glyphs appear in like you know old style fonts that came with like you know PCs or whatever I don't know you know what I'm saying there's like the weird characters past 127 they include things like this so that you could draw like weird ass user interfaces what I'm trying to say is it was, it's weird that this needs unity but anyways not that it needs it but that they used unity So, we have to we have to program now, don't we? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. That's actually uh, that's a fair point, Luke. That's a fair point. Although it wouldn't be too hard to make something like this portable across all platforms. Maybe they just didn't. They just couldn't be fucked. Which is fair. But I'm just saying, like. This game probably sold pretty well. It's a Zachtronics game. If it was like a, just a game by some random developer, it probably wouldn't have sold sold that well. But it's a Zachtronics game. It's probably pushed quite a quite a few units. They could have probably made quite a good profit by saving on the royalties for this. They would have just rolled their own, which is not what I would normally recommend for like a more complicated game that uses a lot of features of the of the engine. But for this. This is one of the rare cases where I'd say maybe it's better to not use them. I don't know. What what am I saying? I'm, my job is to make this input, this output match the inputs. So that's all I want to do. So what am I doing again? In A, in B, there's the command. Yeah, I'm saying they probably made over 200k on this. You you might be saying chili. I don't believe you, but. I mean, I could be wrong. There's like, there's like pages that kind of estimate how much a Steam game has made. So you could look it up in there, but, um... Zachtronics, they, they sell, they make good games, they sell. This game has like, um, 10 out of 10 ratings on Steam. Which I don't know how that works, because Steam is only thumbs up and thumbs down, but when you look on Google, it says 10 out of 10. Or maybe 10, 9 out of 10. I can't remember. It's very good. So, I just want to move these guys down here, and then in here, maybe I'm going to do the thing. Like, I could try to optimize it by using more cores, but... I mean, last time, I was like, I said, I'm not going to optimize it, and it turned out to be fully optimized, so... Maybe my idea of optimization would make it slower anyways. Now, the question is, there's going to be, like, one core that has a lot of code, right? No, no problem, Shinnok. You gave it. You gave it the good old college try, right? That's all that matters. They all, they can't all be winners. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I wish this B was over here. If we're gonna be honest, I want this to be here because I would like to generate the sum. I kind of want this one to get um, A. Or do we get B to get A and to get the sum? No, because it also needs S. 
<sighs> I should just I should think less and type more is what I'm trying to say here. So we're just gonna move these guys around here. Okay, now here's where the magic is gonna happen, supposedly. So we're gonna move up. Back. Then we have to jazz. Then we have to jigs, which is the which is the greater than zero one. Now nah, we'll, we'll we'll do we'll jizz. Uh, Amy, add me, daddy. Amy, daddy. I don't want to make my my labels too long because I might need to put the label on the same line as the code if we run out of lines here. All right. So either. So we've got three cases, we're going to be adding them together, or we're going to be taking A, or we're going to be taking B. So this is going to be the B case. Default to B. <clears throat> what is, so for B, what we're going to do is we're going to move right down. And then we're going to move left nil. Nil is just like you can move something without actually doing anything. I just want to consume the thing that's on the left so that I can get the data for the next step. All right. And then if we've got add me, add me daddy, then we've got to move right ack, add left, move ack down. Well, we should probably... We're going to run out of space. <laughs> Jump. Top. Yeah. So we're going to put this on the same line here. Top. It's out of space there. Okay. Move act down. Jump top. And then... We need to. We gotta. We're gonna run out of space. Let's let's just. What do you mean? I can't backspace from here. Can I delete from here? Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. <laughs> Move. Right ack. <laughs> so now we're running into problems with. We need. We need to shorten our names of symbols because they don't fit on the freaking line. All right. And what's the last one? B me. No, Amy. So we want to move right down. And then we want to move. Nope. Nope. Chili's freaking. <laughs> I know, right, AP? This is ter terrible, terrible programming practice. Move. Right, nil. And we don't have to jump because, you know, we're at the, we're at the bottom. We're going to go to the top anyways. So. So maybe I, I wasn't actually going to run out of space anyways. Maybe I was just being paranoid. We'll see. I'm going to regret this, right? Because I'm going to put this on a new line, and then I'm going to realize I need to add more instructions. I have to delete the freaking line and do it all over again. I guess I could have copy and pasted. Anyways. Uh, we need to move. Up right. Move. Up left. All right. Nothing could possibly go wrong. <laughs> It's actually working, so that, I mean, I <laughs> no one is more surprised by this result than I am. <laughs> Come on. 
Beautiful. All right, so I mean, yeah, we, we could have done better. Could have done a lot better. But, uh, we used like way more nodes than we needed to and uh, way more instructions and we, we were pretty much on par with most people on the actual time it takes to do the processing. Most people would use this kind of solution. But apparently there is a much better one and it doesn't surprise me, but it probably requires a little more parallelization. But you know what? Nope. Because I want to move on. All right. Uh, so what do we got next here? Sequence generator, sequence counter, signal edge detector, interrupt handler. That sounds interesting. But we'll just we'll just do them in uh, we'll do them in order. All right. Sequences are zero terminated. So basically string operations here. Read values from in dot a and in dot b. Write the lesser value to out. Write the greater value to out. Right, A to end the sequence. Okay, so we're taking these two values in, we're ordering them, and then we gotta put a zero to end the sequence. I don't personally, if the um, if the sequences are always too long, doesn't seem to make sense to need a terminator. But you know, that's not really that's that's not really here near here though here nor there is how the has how the saying goes in English, apparently. Uh, so, it can't, can't be that hard, can it? Famous last words. Again, we're, we're going to do all the work in this one, aren't we? <laughs> I mean, let's, let's not, let's not kid ourselves. We're not going to, we're not going to try to, we're not going to try to galaxy brain this one, are we? I mean, we can, I'm just thinking here. We gotta read in, and then what? <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. So comparing stuff is gonna be hard. We can we can store we can remember one of the values, but. Um, the other one is going to be a problem because if we move it down and then we compare it and then we we'll lose it, right? So we've got to we've got to amplify the signal. We've got to move it at the accumulator, and then we can move it down once for the comparison and then move it down again for the actual doing of something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Probably not. That's okay. Move up down. Sometimes I wish my tab or my arrow keys would do something. I wonder if I, I wonder if control or shift, ah, control arrow key does the thing that I want it to. What do you know? Move up right. Move up right. Move left down. Now I'm, and I, I, I learned the keyboard shortcuts and then I immediately proceed to ignore them. Move left down. I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut. Move up down. See, this is why I don't use Vim, because I don't use the keyboard shortcuts anyways, even if I know them. Move up left. All right. So, what was I saying again? Move right accumulator. Then, Move. Uh, what's the command to put something in the backup? Because I think there was a command for that. Or maybe it's just, it's not, I don't think it's in a move instruction. I think you need a special command to store something in the backup. Save. So save the value of accumulator is written to the backup. Right? So we're going to, we're going to first, we're going to switch the screen back to the game. He's learning. Then we're gonna save because we need to compare and that means we need to subtract and that means that we're going to destroy the value of accumulator. So 
Yeah, swap is swap becomes useful, I, I believe. I I recall having to use swap. Is assembly harder to learn than C++? No. It's definitely a sim it's a more simplistic language. Is it harder to create complex software with assembly than C++? Hell yes. Don't ever try that. But anyways, this isn't complex software. Now, we got to subtract up and then we'll know which one is greater. So the top one is A. So if A is greater, then that means we're going to be less than zero. So jump, if less than zero, to pick A. Yeah, Pika. Pika, Pika. All right. So if it's not that, then we're going to be using B, which is what is in our back. Uh, so then we want to, let me think here. Just move it down, right? Yeah. Move. I guess we got to swap first. And move back. No. Move ack down. Yeah. And we could probably save an instruction maybe by doing a jump. I don't know. Let's just not. No, because we have to jump anyways. So we're going to jump and and then pika. So if we're going to... That's wrong. Move up down. Because we also got to put the second one right. B first, then A. Then we're going to do something at the end. If it's this one, then we're going to do A first. Which is move up down and swap and move act down and then here at the end we're gonna move zero down and that's it yeah what do you guys think I have no idea let's run it nope because I forgot this one I actually, I, I, while I was doing this, I was like, don't forget, you got to save this one. And then I forgot. Move. Left. Ack. Move. Ack. Down. Move. Ack. Down. There we go. All right. <laughs> Suck on my dick. What did I do wrong? Is it just backwards? Did I just get my logic swapped? I feel like it might be backwards. Yeah, it looks it looks very backwards. Highly backwards logic. Uh so. Stop. We didn't we didn't want to jizz, we wanted to jiggiz. Is what is the what happened here? See, instead of thinking just Pick one, and if it's wrong, do the other one. That's my that's my advice. There we go. So we're a little worse than the median, a lot worse than the median, fairly worse than the median. So pretty bad, but we did solve it, and that means that we're gonna move on. Sequence counter. Sequences are zero terminated. Okay, so this is this is more in this is more like a string than the other one. Yep, that's my that's my advice, Tribane. Just let the compiler do all the work. Except for when that fucked me over recently. 
because uh, what I tend to do is like when I'm coding stuff up and I'm using like std string or whatever, I just let the compiler tell me that I haven't included it yet and then I include it. Except sometimes it gets included incidentally and then Microsoft changes their implementation of the standard library so that things that were included incidentally before are now not included incidentally. And then people download your code and they're like, surely it doesn't compile. I'm like, fuck. Anyways, that's just a, that was just a rant apropos of nothing. Let's continue. Sequences are zero terminated. Read a sequence from in. Yeah. Write the sum out to S. Write the length out to L. Interesting. Interesting. I like this. This sounds like an entertaining challenge. Have I been programming all my life? I mean... Probably no. I mean, certainly not Not that I know of. Like, I wasn't coding when I was two or something. That'd be pretty dope, though, if I was. Uh, first time I started programming, I was in grade three elementary. But that was only for like a year, and then I didn't have access to that computer anymore, so I didn't start up again until I was like 16. Sequences are zero terminated. Excuse me. Read a sequence from in. Yeah, okay, I've already done that. So, we have to count. We have to check for the terminator. We have to sum. We have to do so many things. We could probably, this is probably where we, we would want to start breaking out the parallelism, if possible. So, where do we want to check for the zero terminator? Like at the beginning? <clears throat> Maybe at the beginning? Jump, jizz? Jizz term. Beautiful naming. All right. Now, if it's not the Terminator, what, what you gonna do? Um, move right one so one is going to signal to this guy hey add one to the count then move down one that's going to signal to this one, you have to accumulate. Move ack down, the thing to accumulate. That's what I think we're going to be doing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then... Top. I could probably switch things around and use less jump instructions, is what I'm thinking. So, jump if equal to zero, jump if not zero. Jump if not zero. Can I? Let's, let's just not try to let's let's not try to min max it right now. Let's just do our do our job. So we're gonna jump top. Yeah, sure. Now terminator invalid register one. Okay, move one right. Let's get our let's get our order of operands 
correct here. So if we hit the Terminator, then we want to move to right. Move to down. So this will signal that they have to now output whatever they're storing and you know reset their state. And then we're done. So this guy's job is just to check for the null terminator and to command these two guys and also to forward the actual value. Then in here, oh geez, I almost knocked my water over. Uh, move left into accumulator. This is dumb. <laughs> this is very dumb. It should be zeros and not something that's not zero. Because our instructions, our comparison will be much easier if we're just comparing, checking for zero or not zero. If we're checking for other values, it's going to be it's going to be more of a pain in the dick, ain't it? So jump. If not zero. Output. God damn it. Oot. Yeah, that's a, that's a great one. That's a great label name. Oot. So if we're not outputting, then... Now, since we're storing this uh, command in the accumulator, that means that we can't be just sticking our uh, count in the accumulator as well. So we need to use the backer. Use the backstreet boy. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to swap to get the back boy out there. And then we're going to add one to accumulator and then we're gonna swap them back again or I mean we could we could also just save doesn't matter doesn't matter what your name is uh, and then we're going to jump top also this doesn't need a colon does it probably not and then oot you're going to move You're going to swap. You're going to move. Act down. You're going to move. Zero into act. And you're going to save. We've got to reset the back because that's what's going to be the count. So for outputting, we got to reset for the next, uh, the next run. The next sequence that we're going to be processing, right? So I feel like this is probably pretty good. Uh, I'm glad you approve of my naming. What's the word for it? I can't word good when I'm streaming. It's weird. Convention. That's the word. Naming convention. All right. So now we have to... So this guy was adding one. It was counting. This guy has to do the same as this, basically, but he's going to be adding the value that comes down. Ha. Ha. Try being, that's not the word I was thinking of. You're, you fail at ESP. Now, move up into our boy, the accumulator. Jump if not zero, that's good. We want to swap. Now we got to add up. And the rest is the same, right? I believe the rest should be the same. Yeah, move up, down. Let's use our let's use our fancy Vim controls. Move up, down. Move up, down. All right. So, what's your problem? <laughs> Oot. Yeah, we're gonna we'll put our code on less lines because it makes it appear as though we. We're more efficient than we actually are. Um, yeah. What does this guy say? Hmm. Very monkey-ass. Let's go. 
Yeah, this game, apparently, yeah, I think I recall it having a story. Actually, maybe we should check those other debugs and the ones we solved. I'll check those later. There's like a there's like an overarching narrative, I think. All right, let's run. I'm a fucking I'm a fucking brain genius. Look at this shit. In before we have like the worst stats possible. Anyways. It's taking very long to, to process everything. Eh. Well, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not the best. It's kind of, eh, it's okay. It's okay. Now, what was I saying before? Oh, yeah. Uh, what do we got here? Hmm. The new girlfriend. Ooh. Ooh, somebody's got a girlfriend. Uh. Women. Am I right? <laughs> Anyways. Um... How do I get out of this? Hmm. What's this one say? Hmm. Probably the shittiest signal processor I've ever seen, but uh, fine. I wonder if there's like some like hidden code where if you figure it out you can decode these apparently corrupted parts or not. I don't know. I think that might be a thing that it exists, right? Yeah, like like maybe you could use words like these ones like this one it looks this is probably like right it looks like there's some kind of static memory in this thing that's interesting actually let me show you guys something so this machine doesn't have any ram right it just has these separate units with accumulators but uh later on i assume i've never made it that far but i assume let me think here where is it yeah it says stack memory node here so apparently later on one of these nodes one of the nodes on the screen might be replaced by a memory unit that you could uh, store and retrieve from and then down here it says random access memory node but it says it's not available there's no information on it so i don't know if it appeared i assume it appears somewhere in the later levels but you don't have any uh you don't have any data sheet on it so you just got to kind of figure out how it works by trial and error which is fun i enjoy that kind of shit too What else is there? Might as well, we might as well catch them all, right? Oh shit, Soviet computer. I wonder if AP's still, yeah, AP's still in here. Oh wait. <laughs> oh no, you guys can see the screen. I didn't, I, I properly transitioned that. All right, so I think that's all the I think that's all the lore. Programming games with lore. What what will they come up with next? I, we saw this one, right? Yeah. Women. Am I right? I made that joke already. All right. Return to the segment list. One second. I gotta like. 
I got like snot in a weird part of my face and it's kind of annoying me. Let's see here. And I'm back. Just had to give me a give me a little drinky poo. Wait, listen, wait for it. Oh, that that kind of sucked. Fuck. I screwed it. Crack open a cold one. Ah. All right. And this one. Yeah. So. Single edge detector. I'm actually interested in interrupt handler. I like, I enjoy playing with interrupts. For some reason, interrupts they just they just tickle some i just some part of my brain that I. What 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 do we got here? Oh shit! <laughs> it's getting it's getting increasingly more monka s monka s in chat, please. I should stream on Twitch because then we could use Twitch emotes. <clears throat> All right, what are we doing here? Read a value from in, compare value to previous value. Write one if changed by 10 or more. If not true, write zero instead. First output is always zero, okay. <clears throat> so, write one if changed by 10 or more. How are we going to solve this one, boys? We're going to, we're going to need a s previous value. We're going to, I probably would like to keep previous value in like another stream and then current value in this stream and then like maybe... Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. Probably not. Um, what's the best way to compare to check if it's changed by ten or more? We obviously we're gonna subtract them, but there there isn't an absolute value function, so we'd have to like 
compare, we'd have to check the case of greater than zero or less than zero. And then depending on that, do another subtraction and then do a comparison. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what instructions do we have again? <clears throat> Let's look back at the... Because we've got a lot of them. Okay, this is interesting. Then this like probably does nothing to do with what we're trying to do right now, but it's got a uh, an indirection function. You can jump depending on a value from like a register or a port and jump to that instruction offset Rel relative to the current instruction. That crazy. That's crazy. Hope I never have to use that one. Anyways, um, we don't have anything for like um, absolute value, do we? Of course, no. Of course, we don't have absolute value. Are you crazy, Chili? What kind of space age technology do you think you're dealing with here? See, so if we had absolute value, this would make my life a lot easier. <clears throat> so, hmm. Let's just get started. So, I feel like previous value will just be accumulator. So move, act down. I get what you're saying, Trivane, but uh, I don't wanna, is the thing. <laughs> We might, we might end up doing that, but I don't want to, is the thing. So, move ACK down, that's previous value. Move up ACK, that's the now value. Move, that's not the right keys. Move ACK right. And repeat, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so, if we say that we're going to do the work here, what is the work that is to be done? Probably lots of subtraction and stuff, right? So we take in the current value, we take in the previous value. Take in the current value, do a subtraction. Then we have to check to see if it's less than zero or greater than zero. So we have to check to see if it's less than zero. If so, then we negate. Then we subtract 10. Then we do another test. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right, right? Now the question is, is that gonna fit all in one node? Because if not, then we're gonna have to do what Tribane says that we should do and that I don't wanna do. So, <clears throat> move. Yeah. Move, up, ack. Sub, right. So far, so good. Jump, if less than zero, neg. Is it bad to use a label that's the same name as an instruction? Neg? Nope. Okay, good. Neg. <laughs> neg neg. Uh, no. Not that. Jump of less than zero. Skip. 
then neg, then skip. In skip, we sub 10. It's not so bad. This just seems bad in my brain. When I actually type it out, it's it's okay. Then jump. If less than zero, no. What is the, what is the actual condition here? Should it? Be? Yeah, should be less than zero, right? Yeah. Yeah. Jump of less than zero. Mm. Skip? No, we already used skip. <laughs> uh, small. That's a small boy. <laughs> so if it's not small, then it must be large. Big change means move down one. Move one down. And jump. Top. Move zero down. There we go. Top. Small. What do you guys say? Seems about right, hey? Move left down. Ah. Move up down. Move up down. All right. Hit me. Hit me, daddy. Fuck. <laughs> All right, did I fuck up like my left and my right again? Move act down. Okay, we're gonna stop this. Stop it. We're gonna step. All right. Move accumulator down. Yes, yeah, so we put a one on this line. That's good. That's good. We're, we're getting started here. Move up into accumulator. Yeah, that's fine. Move accumulator right. Beautiful. Move accumulator down. Okay, good. Move accum move up into accumulator. Yeah. Move accumulator right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good. Move accumulator down. Yeah. God damn it. Okay. Move up right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't. Why don't they just give these ports numbers or something? I could probably do better with numbers. <laughs> Damn it. So... It always outputs zeros, which is probably not good. Why is it doing that? Hmm. Can we, can we debug it just by staring the code down? Sub left, jump if less than zero to skip. Gate jump ten sub of less than I mean I feel like it's always skipping. Hmm. All right, let's step here. Let's step this boy up. Okay, these the first ones, they don't really count, right? Wait, why does this one say negative 10? Yeah, 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 because it was zero. There was zero difference, because you start off with zero. So I mean, negative 10 seems decently normal to me. Yeah, okay, uh, let's keep going. Move up into accumulator. 32. Beautiful. Sub left. We're left with 32. Jump if less than zero. It's not less than zero, so we don't wait. Jump if... What? Jump if... Jump if greater than zero. 
jump if greater than zero, right? Because we're skipping, we're not doing the thing, right? I changed the label from neg to skip, but I didn't change the thing here. There you go. Now let's run it and get some more errors. Or it'll just work. I'll take that one as well. I, I will accept working. Hey, somebody. What's up? Poggers in chat, please. Thank you. Thank you, Tribane. All right. Look at this. Instruction count. We, we nailed it out of the park. We're extremely average with our uh, execution speed. But, um, you know, you never want to be too fast. Am I right, ladies? Turn to the segment list. <clears throat> All right. What do we got here? What's our lore for today? Damn, bitch, you live like this? Anyways, what's what's our job for today? Interrupt handler. Read from in.1 through in.4. Write the input number when the value goes from 0 to 1. Hmm. Two interrupts will never change in the same input cycle. All right. How are we going to do this one? Well, maybe not that hard, really. You... You son of a bitch. So, I mean, each one of these guys is going to be looking... Did I miss one? I feel like I missed one. No, okay, we just did signal edge detector. What, that was edge, edge detector? What, what? What again? Oh, okay, yeah, I guess, I guess it's kind of an edge detector. You're not, you're not wrong. All right. But here we're doing like your standard, you know, digital logic edge detection here, right? Rising edge goes from 0 to 1. So in each one of these ones, we're going to check for a rising edge. And if it, we get one, we're outputting 3, or here we'll output 1. But then we have to make something to combine those and output the actual one. So I'm thinking, like, the one that actually finds the edge, because it, it says here, uh, two interrupts will never change in the same input cycle. Yeah, so you're never going to get an edge happening on two of these in the same thing. So if we output the channel number when we get an edge, and if not, we just output a zero, and then we can use that information to only output the thing that does the thing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we could sum them all together, too. If the inactive ones just output zero, we could just take the sum, and that would automatically be the correct answer instead of doing a bunch of like comparisons and shit because com as you might have noticed comparisons yeah i don't like them they don't like me <clears throat> i refuse to say that bane I don't know what I don't know what your agenda is, but uh, it's probably something nefarious. That's probably like some kind of weird racial slur or something. I don't know. You never know with Tribane. That guy is crazy. Ah, <sighs> what are we gonna do here?
All right. Move. Now. Sub. Up. Yeah. Yeah. Sub up. No, wait. Yeah. I like this one. And then jump if less than zero. Jaliz. And Jalizariza. And then what if it's not? What if it's not though? Um that's a good question. Then we gotta move down zero and then we're gonna jump top okay so so far so good now if we got a rising edge that means accumulator is going to contain negative one I'm just thinking here. What if I move Okay, we're going to negate the accumulator because I want it to contain a 1 so that the next subtraction will bring it back down to a 0. You know what I'm saying? Probably not. But just just work with me here. So we're going to negate, first of all. Second of all, we're going to move down one, because that's what, that's what our name is. We're going to move one down. And then, do we just move the top? Yeah. Because then accumulator will contain a one. And then the next time we sub, a one will go back to zero. That's bad. That's definitely not what we want to do. That's a terrible idea. We need to rethink our life decisions here. God damn it. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be that easy, is it? We'll actually have to compare with something. We'll have to, we'll actually have to store some state. <sighs> Sub up. It worked so well the first time, though. It worked so well the first time. Okay. Let's just do it very simple, very, very straightforward to start off with. What does that mean? What does that, uh, what does that entail? So the accumulator, we'll say it stores the previous state. So I mean, if this previous state is zero, we're looking for a one. If the previous state is a one, we just move up into the accumulator, right? Because if it falls, the previous state, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. 
So jump. If equal to zero. Rizit. For the rising age test. <laughs> Beautiful naming, isn't it? All right. Rizit. Move up into the accumulator. Jump, if not zero, to the riz. Otherwise, jump to the top. Yeah? What's the riz about? The riz tells us move, wait. Uh, move zero down. Good. The Riz is going to tell us to do move the name, move our name down, which is one. Okay. All right. This is starting to come together. I can feel this one. Now, what if What if the accumulator was uh, not equal to zero? That means that we have a one. We should just move up into the accumulator, which is the same as we did before. But this behavior afterwards is going to be different, right? Because what we do afterwards is we don't we don't give a shit. If it's a one, it can never be a ra rising edge. And so we just want to move zero down and jump top. What do you guys think about that one? I think this I think this could be the one. And now it's time for beautiful copy pasta. Now we can move two down. No, not 21. Two down. No, that's a, that should be a three. And that should be a four. Yeah. All right. So, easy part done, right? Move up right. Add, move, up, ack, add, left. So we're combining those there. Move, up, ack, move, up, right. Add left. Yeah? That's not that's not necessary. We're gonna overwrite it anyways. We don't need to do that. Then so we get the com combination in here. Combination in here. Move up left. Move up right. Move, left, ack, move, now, add, right, move, ack, down, move, ack, down, move, ack, down. All right, here we go. So, we can combine these different results with adding. It's going to be a good time, right? Nothing could possibly go wrong. It's actually working. Again, I'm, ast I'm astounded here. Eh, you know. 
eh, it's not too bad. Maybe use a lot of nodes, but you know, we're just we're just making good use of our resources. Is what we're doing here. Cycle count was actually pretty good, although the most common one is also the, the fastest one. Hey, Dandy. Yeah, I never, I got, I think I I only did like the first four or five. And then I was like, hey, it's cool. But I, I can definitely see it getting very complicated very quick. So far, it's not too bad though. Signal pattern detector. What do we got? A noise from the garage, but turns out... <laughs> Did you ever look at, um, like, decoding this? I... I sort of get the I, the idea that this is probably some kind of code to to get the missing words or something, although it might it might not be that might just be, you know, corruption. But I f I feel like there's gonna be some kind of like hidden message or something like that. It's got it's got that feel to it. Read a value from in, look for the pattern. Zero zero zero. Oh. So, I mean, yeah, we could just count. Just count the number of uh, consecutive zeros, and as long as it's greater than uh, two, greater or equal to three, then we could just you know output output ones. Doesn't seem that hard to me. Yeah, I, I like being able to see the uh, the test set as well. At least at least the first test set. It's very nice. Sometimes the uh, the description itself has a little ambiguity in it. <laughs> Makes things annoying. So we need to count consecutive zeros. I feel like we've already sort of done something like that. Yeah. What are you on about, Bane? You are a very you are a weird boy. So let's see here. I mean we could probably just do it in here. It's not doing anything else anyways. Move up into accumulator. Jump if not zero to clear sequence. Move zero right. Clear sequence. Move one right. And then in here, or I wonder, nah, we'll just do it this way. Move. 
left into the accumulator and jump if not zero yeah I guess we need a label there uh, jump if not zero clear add left no add one okay right, we're just counting we're just counting here and I think we could probably split the maybe split the job of um, testing for greater than three, greater or equal to three to a, to a different node, but I'll just do it all in this one because I'm lazy like that. So add one. Sure. Add one here. I always feel like when I'm laying out these jumps, like there's there's gotta be a better order. I can I can I can eliminate one of these jumps, can I? But it's just a waste of time for me. Just type it out and then look at it later if I wanted to. So, yeah. If we're going to clear here, then we're going to move zero into the accumulator. And... Now here's where we do the test, right? So, we want to save, probably, yeah. And then, we want to sub three, or sub two. If we sub two, then we have to jump for greater than zero. Yeah, that seems about right. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so sub two, jump of greater than zero. Long boy, we've got a long sequence. Move zero down, jump top. Otherwise, move one down. Yeah, get out of there. This seems like it can work, but we have to restore. So we save, we subtract. We've got to swap after that. We have to restore the accumulator. 
I feel like this is probably getting close at least. Move up down. Move up down. Let's see how it works. Okay, well, sorry, sorry. <laughs> don't don't hurt me, sir. <laughs> ah. Yeah, we got a few errors. You know, you know how it'd be. Um. Yeah, we can just step through it. So what's your freaking jump if not zero? Jump if not zero. Right. Move one to the right. Jump if not zero to clear. Move zero into the accumulator. Why does the accumulator have one to start off with? No, I didn't want to hit that button. <laughs> hit the wrong button. Yeah, I uh, Joker was not a thing back in 2012 or whenever I made that thing. Probably earlier, about after 2012, like 2015 or 16. All right, move one to the right. Right, we move left into the accumulator. But why? This is wrong. This is wrong. Oh, because we have to jump? Right. So this also means... God damn it. <laughs> We're going to just have enough space. <laughs> uh, move... So we can save the accumulator, then we can move into it, then we can test, then we can swap, we can restore the accumulator. <laughs> oh, I don't like this at all, but it might work. Yeah, jump from not zero, move zero into the accumulator, yeah, that's that works. Subtract two. Jump if greater than zero. It's not. Wait, we swapped. That's a bad idea. <laughs> that is a terrible idea. Huh. So we can eliminate these two things will cancel each other out. Maybe. So if we don't swap here, that leaves the, the, the account in backup. And then if we don't save here, because we don't need to, it's in backup already. Maybe. Let's try it again. Seems good. A zero. So we swap, we add one. Jump to skip, we save that. Subtract two, not greater than zero. Yeah, it's gonna reset the backup. It's gonna reset it, still zero. Now we get a zero. So my backup's going to be sitting to one. De nope. We're still losing it. All right. Ah, we, I think we, I don't think it's going to be. I mean, we could probably do it in one. 
But I, I don't think it's going to be a good idea, really. So what we want to do in this one then, the only thing we're going to do in this boy is all you got to do is count. That's all you have to do. So move left into the accumulator. Yeah, that's fine. Swap. Add one. So if it's zero, we're going to swap, add one to the uh, the length, the sum, whatever you want to call it, then move accumulator down, we'll save, swap, save, doesn't matter. Then in clear, move zero into the accumulator to clear out the backup, move zero down, and then go back to the top. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now for you, you need to do some work. What is your job? Well, you're gonna compare with three, see if we have a sequence that's uh, at least three long. So move up into the accumulator, sub, Two sub three jump if less than zero to a short boy move one down. Jump top, move zero down, and that's the short boy. Top. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, all right, all right. Where did we go wrong? Tell me. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's fine. Let me get, get, get me to the good stuff here. So, move left into accumulator, right, why is that a one though? feel like that should have been not a one. Now we're getting a zero in here. Move up into accumulator. 
Jumping pad zero. Yeah. This seems right. Can't see anything wrong with this guy. No, of course not. No, 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 no. We're missing something. Bane, you're 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 off your game here. Why didn't you tell me? I blame this all on Bane, by the way. Jump. Top. I mean, if we're not clearing, then we shouldn't be doing this one, right? We're doing both of them. That's no good. You don't want to do both of them. You never want to do both of them. Top. See, AP has the right idea. It's definitely Bane's idea. It's Bane's fault. It's because he's, he's too worried about getting me to say weird words. That's the problem. He's not focused. See? There you go. The problem was is that we were relying on Bane when we know he's unreliable. <laughs> so what I, it's what I've always said. All right, time to see how shitty our example is. Well, I mean, we're extremely average. We use very few nodes. Here, meh. Use quite a few instructions. So apparently there's probably a, a much better way of parallelizing this with other cores. But, meh. I'd rather do more interesting challenges. Because these challenges, I mean, besides brain farts and, you know, Bane not telling us what he should be doing. Besides those things, they're not that difficult. But I imagine they're going to get more trickier. And I want to see, I want to see the modules that have like the, uh, let you do RAM access. Yes, exactly. It's Texas Instruments Sexy Edition. I believe that is the correct, uh, the full model name. One second, one second. Damn near knocked my drink off the table. All right. This is a quick piss break. Sequence peak detector, sequence reverser, signal multi multiplexer. Hmm. Sequences are zero terminated. Read a sequence in from in, write the min value, write the max value. Oh, sweet. Now we're writing std algorithms. Min max element right here right now. 
So, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, so we can, I guess, amplify signal to both streams here. And then one of them will do min detection, one of them will do max detection. But then when we yeah, do min detection, max detection, here and here. And then when it's time to say goodnight, we can send a signal that tells these guys to output their bullshit. That's what I'm that's the architecture I'm going for here, right here and now. Have I heard of Streamlabs? Um, I've heard the name of it. I, I, I associate it with streaming. I don't know exactly what it does. I am good. Feels, feels bad man in chat. Feels bad man. Um, move up, ack. Move, ack. Right, move, ack. Left. Then, so how do we do the the maximum detection? I guess we, I don't know if we can split that up into two nodes. That doesn't seem like it's something that you'd want to do. We just, you would store the max in the back, in the back door. And then you would do... You would do swap. Nah. Mm, this is tricky. This is very tricky. Like, I could use these two to. Amplify. I could use this one as a storage for the current maximum. Yeah, it seems all right. So I guess I couldn't split it up a little bit. Wesker, are you still, are you still butthurt because I kicked your ass out of the channel that one time, yesterday? <laughs> I told you my foot slipped. Oh, you weren't there though because I kicked you, so you you wouldn't have been able to read it. But uh, Dude, I did not I did not ban you. At least I don't think I banned you. Nah, I posted it. It said you got kicked. I think you just don't understand how to use Discord properly is the problem. Now, how do we So if the maximum value, let, let's assume max is going to be in the backup, just for now. So we swap, we move the accumulator down. 
And then... Wesker, if you go back to my page, planetchili.net, and you click on the link, you can join the server again. What are you talking about, Tribin? We are, we are programming this master AI that is able to detect peaks in sequence. This is cutting edge technology. What are you talking about? All right, we got to move the accumulator down. Then, then we can sub. No. Here's the tricky part. Because I kind of want. Like, I need to move this one into here, but I also need to subtract it from the accumulator. And if I just put something in the backup, you can swap them, but you can't subtract the accumulator from backup. So, what I could do, might be a little jank, but what I could do is I could bounce the signal down and then bounce it back up. So we do like a signal bounce. All right. So we move accumulator down. Then we sub and we move right into the accumulator. Then we sub down. So it's going to bounce the signal back up. But it's also going to store it in here. Move accumulated or or Well, isn't that isn't that what I'm doing, Bane? What I wanna do here, what I'm thinking of doing is um I move down what's whatever's in my accumulator. That way I can use this accumulator to store the maximum value. But I also need the maximum value for comparison, so I move it back up. So I want to move it down. Move. Right into accumulator. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna do this here. Move that into here. Then save it. Now down here is gonna contain the previous maximum already which will be reset to zero when we start the program. So there's no need to move down to begin. It doesn't make any sense. So we move. We sub down. And then if it's greater, it's in the backup. So then we can restore the backup and then move that down. How you guys like that? All right, so 
sub down, jump, greater than zero. Yeah? Two, update. Otherwise, if we're not updating, then we just gotta move. Fuck. Here's the problem though. We have to then, there's two ways we can do this. We can either always move the greater value down here, but we lose that during the comparison. So the other solution is to signal that we don't wanna update. That's possible. We're going to try that. Do I feel that knowing assembly programming makes one a better programmer? Well, I mean, if you take the same exact two people, except that one knows assembly and one doesn't, they all know the other things that they know are all the same, but one also knows a little bit of assembly, I think it's an advantage. But if you were to ask me, is it more fruitful to spend 100 hours learning assembly than 100 hours learning, you know, something else? It's probably more fruitful to spend, to have 100 hours in other higher level programming concepts. And yes, it depends on what you're doing. If you're doing reverse engineering, assembly language skills are obviously going to be a lot more important. But yeah. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so what we're going to do is we need to signal that we're not updating. So, we move negative one down. And then we jump to the top. Don't forget the jump top. Don't rely on tribane to tell you that you're missing your jump top because he won't do it. He'll just tell you to say words that I'm not going to say because it'll just make him happy. All right. So now if we're going to be updating, this is very easy. The easiest thing in the world. We swap. And we move act down. It's the easiest thing in the world, right? Nothing could be easier. Now the trick is now we have to do a little a little bit of testing here. Just a little wee bit of testing. So first we're gonna burp. Second, we're gonna move the act up. That's for this sub down. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to save the accumulator, which is just save, because there's nothing else you can save. Then we're going to move up into the accumulator. Then we're going to jump if less than zero to I'm a little mad now. Um, there's more orchestration that needs to happen here, and I'm, I'm a little sad about that. All right. We'll just move on. I, I think I can figure it out. Because we also have to communicate the end of the sequence so that these things can output the bullshit and uh, but yeah we'll not we're not going to use this channel to communicate the end of the sequence we're going to use this channel so this it'll have to read in for everyone I don't know if that makes any sense but it makes sense in my brain sort of so what we want to do 
is if we're less than zero, we don't want to update the bullshit. So jump, so we want to skip. But if we're not skipping, then we have to move up into the accumulator. Yeah. Yeah. Skip. Now, here's... We're not going to do skip. We should call this... EG for endgame. This doesn't make any sense. That's a terrible name. No one's going to understand that. No one... Uh, just forget about it. Just keep move, moving forward. Alright, so... In the endgame, we have to check to see if we're ready to... Bust our nuts. So... We gotta move... Right... Fuck. All right, here we go. There's lots of swapping and saving going on here. I don't like it, but I, it's, it's, it has to be done, maybe. So, in the end game, we want to move right into the accumulator. Then, if, if it's equal to zero, that indicates it's time to output. So, OP, yeah. But if it's not time to output, then we should jump to the top. So if it is time to output, then I'm having an aneurysm. Then we need to swap. Move, hack, down. It's gonna fit, it's gonna fit. Move, zero, into the accumulator. Yeah, and then we're done because we, we swap here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so. <laughs> I hate, I, I kind of hate everything about this, but I still think it's gonna work regardless. Move up into accumulator. Yeah. Then we want to compare. Jump. If equal to zero. Of course, EG. In game. That's, we know this, right? And we got to jump to the top. Because of Tribane. It's all Tribane's fault. And then... Uh, move. Move. What's the signal for move? Zero is the signal for doing the, the stuff, right? So move zero down. But if we're here, we want to move one down. Because we're still going. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then here we got a amplify that signal so we got to go move up into the accumulator move ack left move ack right okay okay and and move up right move left down okay so now we just need to copy pasta and hope that we don't fuck it up, which we probably will. We probably will. But. <clears throat> so obviously, left and right has to be swapped. Left. Right is left. Okay. Next is the comparison.
Should be greater than zero? I'm not like paying super close attention. I'm just sort of faking it and hoping that it works. Yeah. I'm 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 terribly afraid of hitting the run button right now. <laughs> it's no there's no way this is gonna work, right? Well obviously it's not gonna work because this is dumb. <laughs> but I mean besides the obvious one, it's also probably not gonna work, right? Well I mean there's an undefined label here. E G Where is that? Here? Is that what you want? Are you satisfied now? I feel like... If I don't do this... Shit's gonna be all constipated. But now, still constipated. <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, my. Okay. Okay. Let's hope for simple bugs. Easy bugs, please. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm Swap. Move accumulator down. Move up into accumulator. End game. Okay, well that's terrible. That's a terrible idea. So when we update it, we immediately lose it. Just immediately die. Um, Mm hmm. Sure, save the accumulator. Move up into the accumulator. Jump if less than zero. How is that even possible? Jump if greater than zero to update. Seems wrong. Let's try it again. Seventy three was never saved on the left. Yeah, that appears to be what happened, although it's still only doing dealing with fourteen. We'll see, we'll see. Alright. I'm actually paying attention to the right right now. But we can oh no 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 stop stop stop. We can also look at the left. So what are we expecting to happen here? Fourteen. So you get your 14, you're going to save it to back up. Um, you're going to subtract whatever comes from here. And you're going to go to update. Now update swaps and moves accumulator down. That's, that's correct, right? You want to be moving that 14 down. Now you get the 14. And if it's greater, if it's 
greater than zero, that means we're, we should be updating, right? Yeah. But instead, we're moving left into accumulator. That doesn't make any sense. Move up into accumulator. If it's greater than zero, we should be... We should save it first. Also, why are we moving up into accumulator twice? <laughs> yeah, Trebin, you are correct. Things shit's not being saved, and that's what's the problem here. I think. So, I mean, this is to test to see if the value that we received indicates that we should update, you know, the shit that we got. But then we're just moving here. And this end game here is for testing to see if we should output. So there's a missing step here. Now, look, my question is, what's this? What was I thinking? <laughs> what was you thinking? Um, so we move... So if it's less than, if we output a negative one, that means there shouldn't be any updating. What I'm thinking here. Is that this should be a less than zero. Yeah, okay. So I fucked up. This comparison here wasn't for comparing, wait a minute, right, so we got minimums and maximums happening here, and I thought, well, since I'm doing a minimum, I just have to switch this, doesn't make any sense. This comparison here is for checking for this flag that doesn't change from left to right side. Well, I'm, I'm loath to admit it, but I think this time it's not Bane's fault. Not Bane's fault, but I can never expect Bane to, to catch this kind of air. Just just throwing slight shade there, passive aggressive shade. But um, <laughs> the question is, right? So this one should be the one that changes. This should be the less than zero. Greater than zero, less than zero. We should skip our works here. And then we we move up into the accumulator. Because if it's updating, we have to move that. Okay. So this seems a little more plausible. But chances are very high that it's still going to be fucked. Yeah. Why did you move? Hmm. So after we sub down, maybe we want to negate here. Otherwise, we have to figure out a way of being able to to swap the order of subtraction. And I think just negating it would be easier. So, sub down, negate. Yeah. Fourteen goes into here. We're still st stuck. But I think this is progress. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. All right. So 
Next question is why are we freaking getting stuck? Right, we update it. Wait. Why aren't you... I'm thinking, like, first of all, I'm misunderstanding my own intentions here. Because if I output a negative one, then I should skip the updating. But if I, if the thing isn't a negative one, the thing I've outputted is the value that I want to use for the update. So why do I, why do I have to input it twice? It doesn't make any goddamn sense. I mean, if, yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Let's, I'll read what Bane is saying in a second, but first I just want to change this. This part's fine. Yeah, maybe... Maybe... That was actually the problem. Yeah, okay, we're, we're getting better movement here. Yeah, we got a 73, it's going in, it's backing up. 73 goes into there, and it's fucked. It's completely fucked. <laughs> okay, so. We still, we still got some little, you know, we got a little, we got little things to figure out here. But I think we're making progress. So, if I negate and then jump less than zero, maybe because I'm negating, I shouldn't be jumping less than zero. No, we want the negation though, because we do, we don't like negative numbers. But, this should be a greater than zero. Wait. Oh, he's right. Okay, well, we'll, we'll have to s swap these up a little bit. But, um, first of all, we'll just make, we want to make sure we got the right idea. But thanks for pointing that out. Try being... So... Didn't work. Okay. We need to think about... We need to think a little more. We're just thinking is... The thinking is a good thing. No, the right... Oh, wait. Are you sure the right was working fine? Yeah, well, the right was working fine. But... Not what I was intending. Because my intention was wrong. But anyways. Trust me, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna do it backwards and then I'm gonna slip it up swap it up. Okay. So I think I might have just went went past where I wanted to go past. Fuck. Stop. Okay. So we're going to move in. 14. And yeah, you go into there. 73. Comes into the accumulator here. We're going to save that. Swap, move accumulator up, and then subtract down. Yes. 
gives us 59. So that's the difference. That's the current one that we're working with minus the previous one, the previous uh, greatest one. That's 59, that's correct. Now why did I why did I think I wanted to negate that to begin with? I think one of the problems is, is because we start off with zero in here. Zero is always going to be less than whatever's coming in. Right? So, I mean, if we try to update it with a 14. It's never gonna it's never gonna update. The first one that comes in, we gotta force it into the lesser side, even though it's not less than what's already in there. How do you do that? I mean, that's why I put the negate in there. I just I was just assuming uh, maybe I got the log logic flip around, but when I actually look at the problem, that's not the problem. The problem is, is that we start off with zero, which is less than anything you're ever going to get in. Yeah, well, the thing is, init well, actually, try Bane. Because I thought of that myself, but then I'm like, but how am I going to get that number in there? But no, 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 no. Try Bane has it, and I thank him for his, uh, for his service. Because, I mean, we don't have to loop back to the top. Normally, it just loops back to the top. Um, but I could just put a jump top here. And then I can add an instruction that only happens once. Bane, I, you know, as much as it pains me to say it, Bane has done good today. And you know... You know it's not bullshit. Because I, w I wouldn't say it otherwise. I, I, would, I would go out of my way to not have to say that. All right. So here we can initialize it with the, the largest possible value that I can assume that we'll ever get. And that will make it correct, hopefully. So, it takes in the 14, it rejects the other one, and yeah, we get the 73 in here, and we get the, z get the zero. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're, not, we're not quite home yet, but we're getting closer. Out A. So yeah, that should have been 14 in here, but we got a zero somehow. So we got to fix that little little thing there. It's a little bitty thing. Okay, so the idea, the idea of resetting it once isn't gonna work. Can you guys can you guys guess why?
right? It's the, the next sequence we hit, we have to reset it again. We have to reset every sequence. So we got to reset it once at the beginning. Ah, but we can do this maybe. So this is super top. It, it looks like it's top, but really it's super top. <laughs> Let's put it <in> Sutop. <laughs> so we want to jump to this one at the end of one of those sequences. That's not going to fix that zero problem, by the way, I don't think. But it's going to fix a problem that we would have come up against very soon. So where is the end? Where's the end of this shit? Move act down. Move... Ah, it could be here. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this one. This one should just be 99. So we don't need the super top after all. Actually, it was simpler than I thought. We just need the change, because we were already resetting it, obviously. But we're just resetting it to the wrong, the wrong side of the number line. Uh, so... Now, the, the question is, why is it outputting that zero? That's what I want to know. So we're getting that 14, 58. So 58. Move negative one down. Tell us that we're not updating. Then we move left into the accumulator, which is going to be a 1. Jump of equal to 0 to output. But it's equal to 1? 1? What? Something's wrong. Something fucky. Jump of equal to 0. Jump to top. Yeah, this is wrong. Somehow, for some reason, it worked on this side, but didn't work on this side. Something's not working right. Let's take a look at what happens on this side. So we do the shits. 14 goes in. 73 goes in. 58 does not go in. Move a zero left, move a zero right, move a zero down. So this is going to be a problem, right? I feel like it's going to be a problem, maybe? Maybe I don't need this zero left and zero right bullshit in here. Maybe these guys just need to hold their horses till we get some more actual data. <laughs> okay. No, wait. Because... Can I undo? Yeah, I just got an undo button. I love this editor. No, don't undo that much. Okay. Let's step some more. So the pass that rejects 58, that pass doesn't output yet. Get a 58. Gets a negative one here. Yeah, that's good. And for this step, it's still signaling that uh, we're not ready to output yet. Then, this is going to go down. So now we get a zero in here. That goes into the accumulator. Move accumulator left. Oh, 
All right. So the zero that we pass in here, the garbage value of zero, we're passing that in just to keep the system running so that it can read the signal here and output. However, that zero is actually gumming up the works and this side of the thing. So what we should do Move zero left is fine, because you'll never get a value of zero here. And it's only taking the highest values. But we gotta move 99 right. We gotta move a value right that is guaranteed not to update this. On the same stage that is going to be used for the output. Alright, now this should give us swapped values. Go faster. Go faster. Okay, it swapped them. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, so... It worked for the first pass, but then the, the, the passes after that... They don't. There's something... Something bad happens. It's the bad... The bad touch happens. Uh... So we need to figure that out. But I think after that we'll be ready to swap the left and the right sides and actually finish this bullshit. What did you say, Bane? I was busy. Can't you just remove the 99 ack and jump top that comes after? He's right. No, there's a swap here. No, that's fine. I think he's right. But does that, does that fix it? Well, we can try it. It does fix it. Wait, why does it fix it? <laughs> one second, one second. One second. Move 99 to the accumulator. Jump top, which does a swap. This one does a save first, then a swap. So because we're missing the save, zero that's in the, uh, the backup gets gummed up in our system and fucks us over. So... Because Bane has solved the problem before I did, I'm going to end the stream because I'm, I'm just so mad now. <laughs> but yeah, now it works, right? Well, I mean, works in quotation marks. Yeah. So now we just have to freaking do lefty-righty stuff. I didn't pay close attention to the very beginning when I laid it out. Um, God freaking damn it. Okay, so what we're going to do... I'm going to cut this out. Paste it in here. Swapping. Manual swap algorithm. Cut this one out. Paste it in here. Okay, Bane. Fermented soybeans. You got you've earned it. I'm gonna say it. But you only get this once. Only this one time. Alright. Now. We need to also fix some other stuff here. This is symmetrical. It's just this one, right? So this has got to be 99. This has got to be zero. Ah, let's try it out. I might be. I might have missed something. Wait. No, this is symmetrical as well. No. Fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, what I miss? Oh yeah, left and right. <sighs> Why doesn't this ID have a find and replace? Well, that would be dangerous. Never mind. Um, left becomes right. Right becomes left. Left becomes right. Right becomes left. All right. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him. I feel like I want to do one more, but I also feel like my brain is melting out of my ears. We haven't even got to the hard stuff yet. Okay, well, you know, eh, 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 eh. All right. I'm just making weird noises at this point. Sequence reverser. Well, let's take a look anyway. Did I look at the... Did I look at the... Uh... Huh? Oh, yeah. Feels bad, man. I remember now. Feels bad, man. All right, what's this one? I just want I just want to take a peek. Let's see what we got. Oh shit. We got the stack memory now. Stack memory. You know, it's hard to resist the memory. Only the TIS 100 understands me. Oh, all right. So I'm gonna take a piss, and then we're gonna take a little try at this one. But if it if it turns out to be extended debugging time, then I'm gonna fuck off because my brain is melting, and also have to do work. I've, sometime today, I have to actually do my job. So, quick piss break. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. I'm, I'm a little, I'm a little hyped for messing around with the stack member. I haven't seen this node yet. Um, I also, I just had a actually like a really good idea. You know how sometimes I have a node that set sends out a command, and like it does a test and sends out a command to another node. What if? What if? Let me just show you the manual. 
So instead of sending out a command and then having instructions that test that command, you know, greater than zero, less than zero, whatever, if I had a lot of cases, I couldn't just reply, I couldn't just rely on zero or not zero, right? I need to actually do subtraction and shit, and that would be a fucking pain in the ass. But what if the command sent out was actually an offset for this instruction here, the GRO, and then you don't have to do any tests or comparisons, you just immediately move in the command value and then jump to that offset. Pretty sweet, huh? I'm just, I, I don't know if we'll need it for this one, but I'm thinking if the, if the opportunity comes up, that might be a pretty freaking good idea. Anyways, game time. Final, final round for today. Maybe, if we finish it. We might not finish it. All right, so. What are we doing here? Okay, sequences are zero terminated and read a sequence or well, sequence reverser. I mean, that pretty much says it right there, right? Yeah. So you got to reverse the sequences, but you don't reverse the zero. It doesn't, the zero doesn't come in the beginning then uh, as it wouldn't. So, huh. So, I mean, obviously, you're going to read in, you're going to, because you can't, you can't do an, you know, an arbitrarily long sequence without some kind of memory. But we got these stack memory nodes and, you know, stack first in, first out, I assume. Otherwise, it would be a Q memory node. Uh, so you just insert into here until you reach a zero, and then you have to switch modes and you have to pull out. You got... Don't take that out of context. I'm not talking about that, you weirdos. Yeah, first in, last out, or... No, first in, first out is a stack. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> first in, last out is a queue. So, we check if it's a zero. If it's not a zero, we jam it into here. If it is a zero, then we tell you to start pulling out. But, here's the thing. Jamming in, you jam in as much as you want. You just jam it all in there. And when you're done, you're done. But pulling out, you have to know how many you need to pull out. Because if you try to pull out, you just keep pulling out. When you run out of things here, you're just going to freeze up, right? That's the way input-output works in this freaking system. So you can't pull the memory. I don't imagine. I mean, you only have you only work with these inputs-outputs. Let's check, let's check the manual. I don't want to make any dumb assumptions here. Check the manual. Stack memory node. Enables read-write access to a large number of values according to simple stack-based communication protocol. Interaction is performed through ports. Writing to the stack memory node adds value to the top. Stack is full, the write. Okay, so stack can become full. Interesting to know. Reading from stack memory node removes top value. Stack is empty. The read will block until value is available. Yeah. And there doesn't seem to be any way of just like polling to see if there's anything in the stack or how many items are in the stack. So you just have to know how many there are. Otherwise, when you try to pull from it and there's nothing in there, you're going to block. It's going to be bad. It's going to be a bad time. So what we're going to do. Yeah, we're do what I said we're going to do. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Tribane. Um, drop the count. The other thing we could do is we could put in the first element on the stack here, we could jam a zero. And then when this guy pulls out a zero, he'll know that it's done. That's the other way of doing it. Oh, Jane Scene. Thank you, Tribane. Thank you, Mom. No, seriously. Uh, but yeah. 
yeah, there's two ways. You could you could pass through the count here. So instead of just passing a dummy signal to get this guy started, you can give it some information. Give it the count. That means we have to actually count it, though. And counting takes time. The other way we could do it is if we start with a zero on the stack, and then we push our bad boys, when he pulls the zero, he'll know that it's time to, it's time to go. It's time to stop, is what I mean. So, the question is, is it easy to start every sequence with a zero here? Let's try it. Let's try starting with a zero. So move. Move zero right. It's fucking... I can't blame the keyboard. I have a normal English keyboard now. But, that being said. So we do that. Then... Move up ack. Jump if jump if equal to zero. And move ack right. This is the loop. Jump to the loop. And if we're at the end, move. Nil down. Just move some dummy value down. Uh, then, move. Nil. Move. Down. Nil. Now, here's a Bonus question, what is this? Why am I doing this? Fun questions. And that's it. That should be it. So, AP, that is actually, that was my excuse for a while. When I moved back to an English keyboard, my fingers were still sort of half used to Japanese. But now, I've been using this English keyboard for like, three or four years, so I have no excuse. Shame. Shame is the only thing I have left. Um, move up right. Move right up. Move left nil. Loop. Move up. Ack. Move. Ack. Down. Because even if it's a zero, we still want to move it down because we have to terminate our sequences with zeros. Yeah? Wait, am I... Yeah, that's fine. That's good. So, that's fine. But now, we need... We need to check. Jump equal to zero. Or jump not zero. Jump. Not zero to the loop. Move. Nil into left. AP still here, man. I think. He's making excuses for me. So he's doing a very important job. Move. Up, down. All right. So. I feel like this should work. And it actually took way less time than I thought it would. 
but like everything, it's probably going to fuck up. So let's try it out. Move zero right. Good. Jump equal to zero to end. Move the accumulator right. Yeah. Jump to loop. Fill up our sequencer. 43, 96. Go to the end. We move nil down. That allows this guy to move to here. So we're passing on the signal. Then we move up into the accumulator. Move the accumulator down, no matter what. We jump if it's not zero to the loop, and we do it all again. Feed those values out. We're going to put the zero out there. Yeah. But now we're going to send a signal back this way that allows this guy to start feeding back into the stack. And that's why I had that move down nil here. Now you can start putting the next sequence in the stack. Now I think, yeah, you can make this a lot faster if you use both these stacks. So while one stack was outputting, you would be feeding the other stack with the new sequence. You'd, you'd um, ping pong between your stacks. But fuck that, because I'm tired and my brain hurts. But it would be interesting. And apparently that's what most people did anyways, because we're like right in the middle of this curve here. Not a curve, but you know what I'm saying. So, I mean, if you wanted to be a min-maxing motherfucker, you could probably get up to here by using both those stacks, maybe? I don't know what you do to make the instruction count less, but whatever. I'm fucking done. It was fun, though. I do, I do actually like this game. The trick is tricking myself into... Um, you know, spending time programming something that doesn't actually achieve anything as opposed to, you know, programming things that actually do stuff. Good night, Tribane. Thank you for the company. Thank you for the help. You're not getting me, you're not getting me to say anything. Ever again. Because I'm never going to make a mistake in this game ever again. Yo, AP, thanks for coming. Enjoyed enjoyed your company. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone for hanging out. I might do another one of these. And also, if uh, AP ever stops being a massive coward, maybe we might stream Slate Aspire together. But uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one, whatever time of the day it is for you.